Kaz, how are we doing today, Good. buddy? Good, how are you, Tony? It's, it's nice always to see a you. pleasure, always really a pleasure, pleasure, and I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The last time you and I were on camera, we had the pleasure to talk about Sync or EDM, Wire EDM, but I gotta be honest. When you told me Sync or EDM, I went back to my lifeguard days and was thinking about all the sinkers I had to save at the pool as people walk right in front of camera, but that's okay, they're delivering beer, so totally worth it. So back to the important stuff of technology, Sync or EDM, and not kids drowning in my pool. Let's talk Sync or EDM and where Sodex stands out in that world. So obviously we got our AD35. This is our entry level machine. However, it has all the core technologies that we've been talking about and what Sodic is well known for. Our rigid linear motor drives with our absolute glass scale. This is Sodic the technology. No other company can mimic that and we really design our whole machine around that technology. So looking at our machine, we have our, our graphite electrode. You can use copper uh, electrode so that we're closer to the workpiece as well. But why Sodic? It's really that rigid linear motor drive and that speed that we get, that 1440 inches per minute. Why is that so good? We, get, we are, when we're down at the workpiece, we're obviously active, we're discharging all that electricity, electrical spark uh, in the way, but the more magic happens when we're going away, when we're going up and away from the workpiece, we basically vacuum away all that debris. No other company can have this flushless machining. A lot of benefits to that uh, as well. Yeah, that, the, the wear for your electrode is really minimal compared to all the other machines out in the market. Just let me say your energy is incredible. <laughs> I'm already inspired to want to buy about seven of these things. Good, Thank good, you good, very good, much. Good. Something that caught my attention when you were saying that, and I know we're going to slide into wire in just a second. You mentioned graphite versus copper. What's the difference between the two and why one versus the other? So we are in an oil-based uh, environment. However, copper electrodes, you could get closer to that work piece that's why you could fine-tune your spark gap so that it's even finer you get a better surface finish and better accuracy entirely however graphite is used in 90 percent of the sinkering market because of the speed production that's what most of our customers want however there is that you know copper electrode if you want to do even finer surface finishes so we're kind of a mix of graphite and copper you and i we're exactly. going fast exactly. and we're kind of fine right exactly. we're doing it all right exactly. let's slide over to wire a little bit yep. now traditionally known in the copper world right yep. and about 10 thou diameter I believe exactly that's correct. 10, 000, 10, 000. so let's talk wire and wear because i think of it as a set it and forget it run it overnight through the weekends type of machine with those tight tolerance quarters all of that side of the world right where do you bring it into the world of Mexico? Because you and I are standing in Quieto right now with your partner at Pro Technique. You can't be original linear motor drives again with absolute glass scale. We got the ALN over there with our TH comp. So it does move our TH, uh, our original linear motor drives. Micro adjustment so that it's truly in the right location. And two, I do plus. We gotta be rotating the wire. You wanna use a different piece of the wire as we're traveling down the workpiece. You really have to. It gives you a better surface finish, better geome geometric accuracy, and better yet, right, you're saving money. Who doesn't wanna save money, put money in their pockets, right? If you have tens, dozens of those machines, right, you're saving money. I mean, who doesn't wanna do that? Kaz, you're right. Let me just look at the camera real quick and say, guys, Kaz is spot on. When we're thinking about investing in quality technology that may or may not cost you more up front, think about that money you're putting in your pocket through the years as you continue to invest in yourself and your company. The future of your company and your employees rely on those investments, and that's where Sodic comes into play. So I have to say it like that. Okay, let's slide a little bit into the world of milling. Sodic has great milling machines as well. In fact, I was just in California where my lips were equally as dry <laughs> as they are right now in Quetaro, uh, and I had the greatest technology interview with Kingston. Well, they, this young lady actually had herself removed from a will <laughs> in her family because she believed in Sodic so much, she bought a machine without her father's permission. She's obviously taken over the company and been put back on the will at this point, but that's the quality of Sodic when it comes to three axis machining. Let's quickly touch on that. It's basically a CMM. That's how accurate these guys are. They don't buy a CMM, they buy a UH instead because this three axis mill is that accurate. Again, rigid linear motor drives with their axis glass scale. You cannot beat it with this and the THK guys that come with it. Yeah, great way to summarize as we slide into our last topic of today. One of my favorite topics because it's a world that 
I would make the discussion at one time was what everyone were talking about. And then it didn't move quite as quickly as the world wanted it to, but we've seen places where it is thriving and growing and we can talk about it because there are concepts on internal components with splines like this that we just cannot mill. So let's talk about, have I given enough segue for this one? Let's talk about additive manufacturing 3D printing. I mean, there's so many major types of, right? For example, like DED, FDM, there's binder jet, right? We have a powder bed system. Why is that so good? We need density. We, most of our customer base, if I'm gonna be honest, is gonna be in the mold and dye industry. We want a functional final part uh, 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 machine. A powder bed is gonna be able to do that. And what's really unique with our system is we got our one process uh, milling machine where you could really finish 90%, 95% because not only do you have the laser additive product, you also have the 40,000 RPM mill that goes along in one machine. So honestly, you're 90%, 95% of the way done for your part or mold. Well, Kaz, you are the graphite, you are the copper, you are the quality, you are the speed. And I don't know if I've met anyone with more energy than me on camera, but Kaz <laughs> might have it. For everyone watching, this is Japanese quality. This is Sodek. Thank you Thank so you much, much for your time. Really You're a good man. <laughs> Thank you.